Today we're going to look at a WordPress 2011 child themes functions PHP file. First, let's have a look at the anatomy of a child theme. Here we can see we have three files style CSS, functions PHP, and the screenshot copied across from the 2011 folder. Let's have a look at our style CSS. We have a theme name, 2011 child, description, child theme for 2011, the author, template. template is the folder name of the parent theme. So 2011, the parent theme could be called raindrops, it could be called anything, but it's the folder name. And here we import the style sheet from the parents folder. The two dots means go up one level, so it goes from the child theme up into the themes directory. Then it goes across to find the parent themes folder. Here is 2011. Then it goes drops inside and picks up the style CSS file. This import means bring all the styles from the parent theme. Here's a comment line telling me to add any changes below this line. Here is a starter functions PHP for a child theme. Opening PHP tag, a comment. Add, add an action to run a function after setup theme. Post theme setup, this is a function name. Here is the function post theme setup. This line here means that this function is pluggable, which means that if it's already loaded, don't load it again. WordPress loads functions PHP in this order. It loads the child themes functions PHP this area here first. Then it runs the parents functions PHP. You can see this action here after setup theme which means don't run this till after the theme's been set up. So it will come back to this function and anything we put in here will be run after the parent and the child themes functions PHP have been run. For an example we will add this function here. My header image height size return 150. We're going to add a filter to the 2011 header image height, my header image height. Basically what that will do, it will replace 2011 header image height with this value. So let's have a look at that in our theme. Here we can see the new height is 150 pixels. Let's upload a new header. Let's crop that header to give a nice image. Let's visit our site to see how it looks. Here we can see our nice new header image. But what about the old images? Let's remove them. Here we have created a function called my remove 2011 headers and we're going to unregister the default headers. We create an array with the header names. Here we are adding an action. Again, after setup theme, we want this action to run and we want it to remove the headers. 11 means it lasts. Let's revisit our website. Here we can see the 2011 default headers have been removed and are not available to be chosen. As we mentioned earlier about pluggable functions, if we go across to the parent theme, this is the 2011 functions PHP, we find this function here. It says here, if not function exists 2011 posted on, then do this block. So that means that we can copy this to our child theme and we can edit the to post it on and our child themes function will be used instead of this one. So let's have a look at that. There we go. We've done, we've copied it across to our child themes functions PHP. We haven't changed the function name here, we don't need to. We can only change post it on to create it on. Let's have a look at that in our theme. Here we can see created on instead of posted on. That is a pluggable function. That is how we replace that in our child theme. If we wanted to change the continue reading link, we copied and pasted this into our child themes functions PHP and we run it, we will get a fatal error because the function name already exists. These functions are not pluggable. If we read what it says here, it says to override this in the child theme, remove the filter add your own function tied to the excerpt more filter hook. Here's one we prepared earlier. Right here we can see this. So we've created a function which is dr continue reading link and we've changed the continue reading to read more. Here we're removing the filter. Remember it said remove the filter so we're removing the get the excerpt filter and we're removing the excerpt more filter. 
we just copied and renamed these so this is our dr auto excerpt more and we've added a break in front of that and our dr continue reading link so if we look at these in two sections we've got this function here auto excerpt more and this function here so we've got two functions and we're adding back the two filters so we've removed the filter here get the excerpt we've added it back here we removed the filter here excerpt more we've added it back here so let's have a look and see what that that does on our theme this is a 27 child theme we're doing for a photo blog and basically here is that bit of code here so this is our read more link so we've changed it to continue reading to read more and we put it on its own line let's have a look at some of the other things we may want to do in our child themes functions PHP here we defining a theme namespace and we're giving that a name so we actually use this uh, often in our files so instead of us having to find in the text and replacing it we just put this in and that will take whatever's been defined up in the functions PHP here this is a wide theme so we're actually changing the content width here so if not is set content width then set it to 724 this little function here instead of us having to write loads of includes we actually run a function that actually does it for us so that will just go through the directories and it will include any files that are in the directory yeah in this theme we have two global variables uh, this is category meta and we're getting an option this is our settings so we get in our photo blog theme options uh, that, that does things like the Google fonts and our different layouts so this is our post theme setup inside this post theme setup we may want to register some new menus we may want to add some new image sizes and we're going to register a social widget which is a new widget that we created here you can see we've changed the header height and width on this particular theme we've removed the headers and this is a nice little uh, function here if you're doing theme development and you're using uh, options you're storing options and this action here switch theme clear theme options and then just delete your options here so when your theme is deactivated we'll just clean up WordPress and that is as we looked at earlier this is our continue reading link here we're loading scripts in the footer this is for our LinkedIn plus one Facebook uh, so rather than load all the scripts in the header we're loading them in the footer and this is on the action WP footer so that means that when the footer is run it will load these scripts that is to improve the speed of the website this is a posted on here we've added a span class in here we've removed the uh, posted on date these are the little icons we see on the bottom of our page like these here these little icons here these functions load them so that the ones are dates this is a posted by in which categories tags comments and this one is for our little icon for posted dates so that is some of the stuff we may put into a child themes functions PHP I hope this has given you an insight into the child themes fu functions PHP and helps you improve your workflow Please visit http colon forward slash forward slash digital raindrops dot net and have a look at our other tutorials and information.